Okay, we're going to start out our multi-view by drawing a familiar shape. So let's go ahead and make sure that you have this shape built. Again, it is three blocks across, two blocks, and then the upper block goes right there on top. We know that this is multi-view paper because in the corner we have isometric paper, and then the rest of the paper is the square Cartesian grid. We're going to start out by drawing an isometric of this shape right here in our isometric paper. So I want to take this isometric and I want to isolate the three views so that I have a sketch of just the yellow side, a sketch of just the blue side, and a sketch of just the red side. For today and for this sketch, I'm going to start with just the yellow side. I want to imagine if I'm looking at this shape from the top, what will it look like? So here is just about what my shape will look like from the top. It's going to be three squares over and then two squares over. And I'm going to represent that on my Cartesian grid. I'm going to use a scale of two of these little squares for each of my blocks. So right now, if I were to look at this shape, I could imagine that instead of having this shape with the black block sticking up, it actually looks like this shape. It looks flat. I need to figure out a way to show that this black block sticks up from the rest of the blocks. So I'm going to do that by drawing a, uh, lines around this black box on my top view here. I'm going to label this as my top view. Next, I want to do my front view directly below my top view. So I'm going to line up my ruler and make some dashed lines here so that I can make sure that I am lining it up exactly. The front view that I draw will fit right in to the same width as this top view. So now I'm going to look at the red sides of my isometric, and I want to imagine if I were to just look at the red sides, what would I see, okay? I would see one up here, okay, that's this black one, and then I would see three across here, one, two, three. Again, I'm using a scale of two blocks on the paper equals one block here. So I want you to now take your shape and look here at the right or at the front side. These two blocks pass what I like to call the finger test. They are on the same surface. My finger can run smoothly across them. However, this block down here does not pass the finger test, and this block right here doesn't pass the finger test either. They're on a different surface. This one's lower, and so is this one. So I again need to use lines on my sketch to show that those two blocks are at a different surface, at a different altitude, if you will. Okay, but these two blocks right here are on the same surface. They pass the finger test. If I look at my object from just the blue sides, then I can just see three blocks. One, two, three. And I can confirm that on my sketch. I have three blue blocks. One, two, three. I'm going to go ahead and make my guidelines over here.
Okay, and let's see if my three blocks over here on the right hand side pass the finger test. These two are not on the same level, and these two are not on the same level. So I'm going to need to draw lines for both of those. Again, our lines show the person looking at our sketch that these blocks are not on the same level. Now I have drawn my yellow top, my red front, and my right blue. Notice that the front and the top line up from side to side. And the front and the right line up from top to bottom. If your views, your three views, do not line up, then that's a quick way to see that you have made a mistake and you need to go back and fix it.